Thank you so much for joining us. Um, my name is Ashley Williamson, and I am the Community Engagement Manager at Women's Employment Network, and I'll be taking everybody through this virtual job fair today. Um, we are, our media sponsor is Hot 103 Jams, and Women's Employment Network is a nonprofit in Kansas City that helps women find employment, assist them with financial coaching and case management. Um, so we are a great community resource, uh, and we host this job fair for men and women in Kansas City. Uh, and we're very lucky to have U.S. Bank with us today. Uh, so uh, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little about U.S. Bank? Sure. Um, hello, everybody. I'm Aaron Johnston. I am the one of the recruiters, one of the many, many recruiters that we have at U.S. Bank. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of U.S. Bank, at least. So we work on a lot of financial needs, anything from checking account, auto loans, mortgages, um, you know, we're helping with fraud cases. You know, there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes um, that you don't think about when you think of a bank. And um, so I'll be talking about some of those things today, actually, so. Excellent. And uh, tell us a little about yourself. Um, how did you uh, find U.S. Bank? What is your role there? Sure. Um, so I've been with U.S. Bank uh, almost six and a half years now. Um, so before U.S. Bank, I was working at Little Caesars as an assistant manager there. Um, and one day, someone from a local, um, another local bank had walked in, um, noticed some of the customer service skills that I was, you know, helping our customers with at that time. She gave me her business card and said, hey, I want to get you in front of some managers. I said, okay. Um, it, it never really crossed my mind. It wasn't something that I had thought about. I didn't know where I was going at that point in time. Um, but that initial interaction got me interested in banking. Um, I went through the process with that specific bank. It was not selected for that opening, um, but that's what kind of sparked my interest in banking. So I started looking around and I found U.S. Bank. Uh, so I was hired on as a part-time teller. Um, so I was making a little under what we actually offer most of our, all of our employees now as far as minimum pay. Um, but then I worked my way up into management within our branches. I was promoted again into our service center out here in Overland Park as a fraud operations team manager. Um, and that was within my first four years at the bank. And then I was again promoted to be a recruiter, which is where I've been now for the past two and a half years, roughly. So um, a little bit about me and my progression and career path here at U.S. Bank. And I, the reason I like to highlight that is, is because it's not linear. It's not just you know straight up into branch management and then you know you're stuck there there's a lot of options when it comes to u.s bank there's a lot of options as far as moving from laterally or diagonally if you will um to whether you you have those options you don't have to feel stuck in the department that you start in so excellent and it sounds like that uh there's also a lot of um entry-level positions and higher skilled positions and so there's a variety of educational backgrounds um, and skill backgrounds that you're looking for. Uh, can you talk a little about that? Sure. Uh, so for a large number of our entry level positions, what we're generally asking for is customer service experience. And that's it. Um, all of our positions do require at least a high school diploma, um, but a lot of our entry levels um, is that plus one to two years of customer service experience. It depends on the opening. Um, two of the openings that I'll be speaking to today, they do require um, just two years of customer service experience, and we'll teach you the rest. Um, so that's really what we're looking for. A lot of our branch openings, which I don't have any information on today, um, but those are, you know, they might ask for some sales experience. They might ask for a little bit of customer service experience as well. So it just depends on what you're looking for and what you want to get into the bank with. Um, but it's all going to be listed on all of the job openings. They're very clear on that. Um, but the thing to think about when it comes to thinking about the basic qualifications is you, we can be, you can translate certain things into those skills, right? So maybe you didn't interact with external customers in the previous roles to get your, your one year of customer service experience, but you were consistently helping out people within your own organization um, and giving, you know, kind of giving them that customer service internally. So there's, you know, there's little things like that that can be easily translated into those skills that I think some people miss, so. You have several branch locations. Are you representing one in particular? 
while we do have a several, like you mentioned, branch locations, I am service center. Um, so this is one that doesn't necessarily, you know, the employees there don't face the public on a daily basis. So they are interacting over the phones, uh, through emails, um, paper mail from time to time, you know. So uh, that's specifically what I'm representing today. I'm happy to kind of field some questions on the other openings if I can. Um, if there are questions from people in the in the chat that are watching, so um, but specifically, I'll be representing that service center today. Excellent. And um, talk to us a little about the hiring process. How does one go about submitting their application? How long does it typically take to fill out an application? And then, what is the time period um, to actually get in for an interview? Sure. Um, as far as the application process. Uh, Typically, I mean, it's about 15 minutes for an application. There's a lot of questions in there. Um, but, you know, that's to help us make sure we're hiring the right people <clears throat> because we want to make the right decision when it comes to who we're bringing on board. Um, and we do it in a way that we are, we're making smart decisions, right? We, we're, when we're making that decision to hire, we're doing it in a way that's not going to set us up for failure later down the line, um, especially during times like these. Um, you know, we're making very smart and tense when it comes to our hiring processes. So, um, but that's the application process itself. The timeline after that, generally speaking, we try to get to those applications within the first week. Uh, and, and then after that, you'll either get, you'll get an email notification that lets you know you're no longer being considered for the opening or that we want to set up a phone interview with you with one of the recruiters. And then at that time, you'll have the opportunity to schedule, schedule that with the recruiter. From there, there's typically at least one interview with the management team. Um, and after that, we have that decision of yes or no, we want to hire you. So um, we're doing, you know, the best that we can to keep all of our applicants in the loop on, you know, where you're at in that process. Um, because we know you're, as an applicant, you're either you're job searching, you need a job during this time, um, or any other time, uh, you know, where we want to be very transparent in that process. So we're doing our best to make sure that we get that out there. And you said that there were a couple of positions that you're specifically talking about today. Uh, can you tell us more about yeah. them? Sure can. Um, and can I go ahead and share my screen real fast? Absolutely. Perfect. Make sure I get the right one here. There we go. Hopefully, can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, so this is just a little information, kind of the basics of what we have to offer in terms of all of our positions at US Bank. Um, so all of our full-time employees are eligible for the benefits that we have to offer. The pay for all of our roles, the minimum is $15 an hour or more. Uh, specifically, the two that I'll be highlighting today that we have current openings for, they both start off at $15 an hour. Uh, the paid time off, we offer paid sick time, paid vacation, paid holiday time, uh, so we've got 10 federally recognized holidays throughout the year that you're going to paid time off for and actually just an, announced today specifically um, is just kind of one of the steps that we're taking in, in regards to awareness and inclusion on everything that's going on. Um, we actually announced that we're going to be closing our, our branch locations at 1 p.m. on Friday in recognition of Juneteenth um, as, as a actual holiday and everything. So just another thing that we're doing to be involved in everything that's going on. Um, and putting our employees first as well as our communities first. Um, and then we also offer paid volunteer time. So if you're active in your community, um, after your first 90 days of employment, you get 16 hours of paid time off to go volunteer as well. So um, just some, some additional information there. We offer medical health, dental and vision and hearing benefits for our insurance. And then we also have a 401k and pension plans available. So for our current openings that we have right now, we have our customer service opening, and then you'll be able to find these at usbank.com slash careers, and then you'll just search for these job numbers. And then that'll take you directly to those job openings to actually see those basic qualifications that are very specific to those openings. You can review, there's videos that are posted on there that will actually play for you to let you kind of hear from some of those employees within those positions to hear about what it's like to work in that role. Um, so we have our customer service, our retail payments is kind of our general customer service position. Um, they work on a lot of our credit card accounts uh, for general inquiries, you know, making payments, balance transfers, uh, you know, anything that has to do with a credit card, really. 
And then for our fraud inbound team, they're working with our credit cards and debit cards. Anything, whenever a customer is calling in, maybe you found out you had um, unrecognized charges on your statement, you're calling in, you're getting into our fraud inbound department. So that's where they're going to be assisting with actually filing the fraud case, um, making sure that you know, you understand that you're not going to be liable for those charges. We're getting that money back into your account. Um, and then once the investigation is done, they'll confirm it. And then, you know, everything stays the way it is. Um, so that's, that's really what we're looking at right now. So we've got that July 27th start date for our regular customer service team. And then the August 3rd start date for our fraud inbound team. Um, so again, a quick reminder, both of those are starting off at $15 an hour. Um, and then for qualifying shifts, so anything that would start 12.30 p.m. or later, like a 12.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. shift, um, does qualify for what we call our shift differential or shift premium, um, where you can earn another 10% on top of that base pay to get you up to $16.50 per hour. Um, so if you're flexible to work those evening hours, that is um, an additional benefit that you get to work those. So. Um, so those are the two current openings that we have. And then I also made a note that we do have collector openings that we are planning for in future months. We do not have anything locked in stone at this time, um, but I wanted to kind of throw that out there and you know let everyone know that that is another uh, opening that we will have um, in the near future. Excellent, thank you. Um, do you have any uh, advice for anyone who is applying? Um, any tips on applying, tips for their resume or um, when they're actually sending in their application keywords or anything like that? When it comes to tips for submitting applications, um, I think one of the biggest things is making sure your resume is up to date. Uh, making sure the resume is up to date with accurate information along with the information you're submitting on the actual application. Um, so consistency is key. That attention to detail is something that stands out very um, loudly when it comes to reviewing things on paper. Um, so looking at that consistency, the professionalism, so, you know, grammar, um, spelling errors, you know, the little things like that um, can stand out and make a big impression. Um, Outside of that, I, you know, being involved in the community is, which I understand is very hard to do in times like these that we're in currently, um, but being involved in the community in a way that you're interacting with the, with the public, you never know who you're going to bump into. Um, so you might be striking up a conversation with an employee at U.S. Bank um, and building a connection with someone that you didn't know. Uh, that could lead into a job opportunity down the line, right? So you just never know who you're interacting with. You never know who you're networking with. Um, so just something that I always encourage, um, and I encourage it internally as well. Um, so even after you, you know, maybe you've landed a job at U.S. Bank, um, but it was just something you wanted to get your foot in the door about, um, continuing to network and continuing to get to know new people and expanding yet that network that you have can really open up some doors that you didn't know existed. And I think it's, it's proven successful for myself personally um, throughout my success outside of U.S. Bank and leading into U.S. Bank. So um, it's just another quick tip that I like to add in there as well. Yeah, and would you encourage people to say, I heard about you at the virtual KC job fair. I was interested in those positions. Is that uh, a form of networking that you would encourage? Most definitely. Um, so, one of the things, and that's something we do with our tracking and everything, we like to know where our candidates are coming from. Um, so if you heard about, this is the first time you're hearing about these job openings and you're getting a phone interview scheduled with a recruiter, let them know that you you watched us you know, through this, whether it's the recording or the live um, that's happening right now, you know, let us know and we make sure to track that information. Um, and it's definitely something, again, that lets us know that you're actively looking, you're, you're out there looking for opportunities to get more involved um, so yeah, I definitely would encourage that. Excellent. Um, and another question uh, that a lot of folks have had is about um, working from home right now. I know that um, with COVID, there um, a lot of businesses are opening back up. There's some different safety precautions. What does U.S. Bank do to keep their employees safe? And is are there any opportunities to work from home right now? So it depends on the position. Um, currently within our service center, they've sent home roughly 80% of the staff 
and possibly even more, um, to work from home. So we have that opportunity is there for those that have already that are current employees. For our new hires that we're bringing in, um, it presents a unique opportunity to have that social dis- distancing and guideline within our building. We're you know we're providing the face masks, we're doing the additional cleaning. Um, but we, for, as far as our new hires for a lot of these positions, we're still bringing you into the office for your training. And then after you complete training, there's that opportunity, um, depending on where we're currently at um, in the current state of things, to you know explore that opportunity to start working from home. Um, other positions, yes, you know they do have that opportunity to start working from home immediately, uh, and then at a later date, once everything has kind of slowed down and you know it's deemed safe and you are comfortable to start reporting to the office a lot of the roles would eventually move back into that reporting into the office on a consistent basis. Um, but it's not something that we're necessarily in a rush to do. Um, so currently, like I mentioned, with the 80% of employees work from home, we're not in a rush to send everyone back into the office, even as things continue to open back up, um, specific, specifically for our service centers, uh, where we do have that opportunity to still assist our customers from home over the phone. Um, we're not rushing to get everyone back into the building. So, um, but it's and we're as we continue to make those adjustments um recent communications you know we talked about 30-day notice to let you know that hey we're considering you bringing you back into the office how do you feel about it you know do you have any additional health concerns are you taking care of kids at home are you you know do you have daycare that type of stuff so we're we're being very um aware of those unique situations with you and your family um to to make sure that you are comfortable coming back into the office before we just say, hey, you know, tomorrow we expect you to be in the office. That's not something we're going to do. So uh, we're being very aware and considerate of all that information. Um, And I want to encourage everyone, if you have any questions, uh, please type those in the chat. It's at the bottom of your screen. You'll see the chat bubble. Um, You can just click that and type in your questions. Uh, We do have a question about, um, can your credit score or report impact your employment with U.S. Bank? It depends on the position. Um, If you are going to be advising other people on credit decisions, for example, in, you know, positions within our branches where you're saying, hey, we think this credit card would be a good option for you. We think this loan would be a good option for you. If you're in those positions to make those influencing decisions and recommendations, yes, that credit can come into play when it comes to your application. Um, Because we want to have people that understand their credit score and understand managing it well enough to be able to make those recommendations to other people. Um, So that's kind of what they're looking at there. But in terms of these customer service positions, that's not something that would be looked at. And um, I would assume you would talk to the employee before you're uh, doing their credit checks. Yeah. Yes, they are notified, yeah. Okay, and we have another question. It says on your career site that if hired, you must attend six weeks of training. Uh, is this six weeks of training paid? Yes, all the training is paid. Um, so from day one, you're getting, you start earning your paycheck. Um, Also, from day one, you start earning paid sick time. So um, I know some some locations or organizations may wait for the first 90 days, things like that. Paid sick time starts right away. Um, So you earn one hour paid sick time for every 30 hours that you work. So that starts on day one. Um, Paid vacation and holiday time. Paid holiday time is day one as well. So for whatever reason you started on a holiday, you would get um, paid time for working that holiday. Uh, Paid vacation is then after your first 90 days so and is the paid training is that um is that in person or is that kind of virtual right now is a mix so depending on the position so for our customer service positions they are piloting and you know kind of testing some things right now with just some of the larger classes that we have for customer service positions to potentially start training from home um so that it's something that might be an option. I am not going to guarantee that by any means. Um, but as of right now, the expectation is you're reporting into the office for training. It is paid training within the office there. Um, so, yeah. Okay, and then um, a question about benefits. 
once you start working, when do your benefits start kicking in? Sure. Uh, so I kind of touched on the, the paid time off there briefly. Um, for, specifically for insurance benefits, the benefit effective date, the official verbiage is the first of the month following the month that you start in. So what that means is, for example, with our customer service position starting in July, um, your benefit effective date would be August 1st. Um, so what that means is once you start, you have the, you know, that ability to go in and make your benefit selections. Once you've made that and you do it before August 1st, those are all effective on August 1st. Um, if you wait to make your selections until the end of August, it's either going to default to just the standard selections, and then it'll kick in at the end of August, um, or you'll make your selections throughout August, and then it'll be effective for you at the end of August. So um, it's dependent on when you make the selections, but as soon as the first full month following the month you started. So recommendation to be proactive in those decisions. <laughs> yes. And we provide you the time to make sure you have the time to be able to do that. So um, it's not something where we're just like rushing a ton of information at you to where you forget about benefits. I will definitely set aside that time for you to be able to do that. Um, and while we're seeing if there's any other questions coming in, um, what makes U.S. Bank stand out from other banking institutions in Kansas City? Um, so I know that, I, I mean, there's been a lot of changes. There's been a lot happening around the world and, you know, things that are impacting everything, every way of life. So um, I can't speak for, you know, how we're really comparing to other organizations within our industry right now. Um, but I can speak to kind of what we've done and what we've really focused on is putting our employees first, um, keeping everyone in consideration when it comes to what's going on currently, um, whether that, you know, be the COVID, uh, COVID stuff that's going on, whether that be everything around, you know, the politi politics and um, the Black Lives Matter movement and everything that's going on there. So we're really focused on putting our employees first. Um, and I think that's, it really goes to show that we're very ethical um, in everything that we do. And our senior leaders are sending out consistent communications throughout the week um, to make sure that we are aware that, that it's at the front of their mind. Um, and to me, you know, coming into the, the banking industry, not knowing what to expect, what to think, um, and being exposed to everything that's going on and having senior leaders reaching out with things like this really lets me know that they do care. Um, and it, it goes a long way. Uh, so it's, it's made me very proud to work for U.S. Bank um, and just the little things that are happening, like I mentioned with, you know, the Juneteenth thing, with getting, we're getting that paid time off on Friday afternoon in recognition of that holiday. So um, making these little steps in, in that direction, I think is really big, um, especially during a time like this. Um, so I, that's just kind of what I can speak to specifically. Um, but there's, there's a ton of information out there. I would encourage, you know, if you do want to compare one company to another, there's a ton of information out there in the public um, that you can find. Um, but that's specific to kind of what I've noticed currently happening um, that kind of has stood out to me. Excellent. And as far as um, people contacting um, you or uh, sending in their applications, um, are you comfortable with me sharing um, your email with everyone to yeah. apply or to ask you specific questions? Feel free. Um, if you want to share my email information, they can reach out to me with any questions you might have. Um, the number one thing, if you are wanting to be considered for a job opening, you got to submit your application online. Um, so that's, I mean, that's step number one. If you have questions about the collections openings that are going to be coming up in the future, feel free to send me those emails that you're interested in that specifically. If you're interested in branch openings, other positions at U.S. Bank, um, you know, whether that be financial advice, whatever it may be, accounting, um, feel free to reach out to me. I may not have every single answer, but I know I can get in touch with the people that do. Um, so I'd be more than happy to kind of field all those emails and work through that. Excellent. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Um, and this uh, will be available on our YouTube, uh, Women's Employment Network YouTube site, uh, starting on Monday for your review with information on those two job openings and how to apply. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Swope Health Services is next. 
uh, and we'll continue on. Thanks, Aaron. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.